You know guys, part of every single hype train to ever come to Call of Duty since the beginning has always been the developers and or Activision just talking themselves up. They say it's the most advanced Call of Duty to date, they say it had the highest budget to date, they say it had the most developers to date, the longest amount of time spent on a game developing. They always come up with all of these little things to try to get people to think that, oh, you know what, this is gonna be different than the last time they did something. And of course, you know, this mainly applies to Infinity Ward, I mean, these bastards have been finessing us since day one. And of course, it gets even worse when all of these these gooch-licking content creators and news sources come out here talking about, oh, this is gonna be a top 5 COD of all time, oh, Vanguard is the best Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, don't think I'll ever forget that, by the way, and a whole bunch of other garbage that's just spewed for the sake of just trying to get people on board for buying the next game, essentially just free advertising, honestly, and when these content creators do it, it's often very shameless, like, I understand they know what they're doing when they say these things, but they continuously do do it even if we get disappointed even if there is a bunch of leaks that come out pointing towards the fact that maybe this next game won't be as good as they're thinking but the reality is it's not always their fault now most of the time it is but not always and this time around i have some really bad news at least i'm gonna take it as bad news because the chances of this not occurring or not happening are extremely high and it's just statements like these that get so many brainwashed gooch licks morons to get on the hype train for Call of Duty, and I just don't think it's right to say something like this, especially as a developer. Unless you actually feel this is the case, but let's be honest, this probably isn't. Well guys, what I'm talking about today comes from Doug Dimmodome Warzone, and he says, in quotes, Black Ops 6 is our best work, undoubtedly. It's the best Black Ops game we've ever made. And this is a quote via a Treyarch developer when myself and other content creators got to visit Treyarch Studios to play the newest Call of Duty game early and ask the developers some questions. Now, before the COD fanboys and Taint Eaters get on their high horse and start going in the comments just talking, Uh, fool, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're just hating for views and money. Shut the hell up, tubby. Even if you are a COD fanboy, I think you understand why this is so outlandish to say, even for a developer that thinks highly of themselves and the game that they created. And it's even worse to directly pass this down to a new source who's as unreliable as Doug Dimidome Warzone or any of these other people like Charlie Intel. Not that they provide incorrect info, it's that it's almost entirely always disingenuine. And not even disingenuine in the way that they have malintent, it's just, you know this is a dangerous thing to say because you're gonna get so many different people to be like, Oh my god, this new Call of Duty game is gonna be incredible! You hear what the Treyarch dev said? He said it's the best Black Ops game ever, even better than Black Ops 1 and 2! Yeah, you know what you're doing, and if you don't know, then it's just irresponsible. And by the way guys, before other people get upset, there's some other bad news that I'm sharing uh, in a little bit too, but this is the main portion that I had to talk about. Guys, I want you to really think about this. Do you actually think this next Black Ops game is going to be better than any other Black Ops title? I mean, I'm willing to bet it's probably better than Black Ops Cold War for sure. I mean, that shouldn't be very difficult whatsoever. That game's horrible. And is the argument maybe present for it to be better than Black Ops 4? I mean, maybe, but I mean, I don't know about you guys. I personally enjoyed Black Ops 4, like, quite a lot. Is it better than Black Ops 3? Most likely not. Is it better than Black Ops 1 or 2, guys? And I really need you to think about this. And think about what this man is saying. The best Black Ops game we've ever made. Now, maybe these developers just simply didn't work on any Black Ops title until Black Ops Cold War, and if that's the case, then yeah, maybe it is true what they're saying then. But I highly doubt anybody who worked on Black Ops 1 or 2 is saying this. There's simply no way. And like I said, this is bad because you get people hyped up to buy the next game, and when they're disappointed, as they usually tend to be, especially at launch, you are essentially pushing the tide in a way that divides people between people who are disappointed in the game and don't like it, and the hardcore fanboys that do anything to defend their lovely title, 
Call of Duty. And when that happens, I mean, that's how you get all of these arguments and channels like mine and people who gooch lick and all of these other content creators that just get paid by Activision under the table. They like SBMM because they're horrible at COD. You know, so statements like these, they're, they're not good. You shouldn't be making these. Even though this isn't an official, like, transcript or anything like that, there isn't an official interview or, you know, text that we can see of this. For him to pass this on to somebody who's obviously gonna go on the internet first thing and just spew this out to everybody else, it's just not a smart thing to do because you're setting yourself up for failure. And, and very quickly, hold on, to those of you who are inevitably gonna tell me, oh, you just have your rose tinted glasses, like those games had problems, this game's probably gonna be better. No, the Scatmaster is not phased by nostalgia, okay? Like I can tell you right now, that is not the case. Because if it were the case and it's just every single old game I'm a fan of, I can tell you right now that's incorrect because by that logic I could tell you Call of Duty Ghosts is a top 10 COD and it's not. That game sucks. Using this logic I would tell you guys a game even like MW 2019 from like 5 years ago, half a decade ago, I would tell you guys that's a good game and I don't think that's a good game. I am not phased by nostalgia, I am phased by logic and not gooch licking and not eating taint. And here's the thing is that I'm not doubting that Black Ops 6 is gonna be some god awful Call of Duty game. I don't think so. Judging off of just using common sense and if you have four years to develop anything, it's probably gonna be a lot better than anything that you've developed for two years or one year or even three years. Four total years is enough to grant you the possibility of not having an F tier COD. If this game ends up being a bottom 5 COD with the rest of the other titles MW 2019 to the present day, there's something terribly wrong with the talent pool over at Treyarch, over at Activision, and anybody else that's developing Call of Duty. So I don't think it's gonna be a horrible game, but to say it's the best Black Ops title ever. When this game eventually launches and it's not as good as Black Ops 1, 2, 3, or 4, again, I don't care about Black Ops Cold War, I'm just gonna erase that out of my memory. Of course, you're just asking for content creators like myself to just bag on you. I mean, seriously guys, the hype train is often undefeated in how many virgins are on it. I mean, just take a look at this. This comes from Bob Network UK. God, that TDM icon got me fiending. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this just lacks testosterone. How do you fiend over a TDM? I don't even want to get into it, guys. The point is, the hype train is undefeated for the amount of virgins on it, but in execution, it is always defeated. You understand this, right? Like, especially since MW 2019, there's never been a hype train that was successful. But guys, there's some other bad news that I'd like to go through super quickly. This one comes out from somebody who was complaining about an EOTech site in the Black Ops 6 trailer, complaining that in 1991, this is just not something that would exist back then. And while, well, yeah, I guess that's true, personally, I don't care. What I do care about is the normalized response from a lot of people, especially people who tend to have a lot of influence here in the community, like Charlie Intel saying, if you're mad about this, wait till they add anime bundles to Black Ops 6 post launch. My question is, why are we normalizing this? Like, haha, like jokes on you, wait till you get this in the game. Like why, why is that even a thing? Why don't we push for something like, hey, you know what? We can kind of ride the line between realistic and not so realistic and i don't mean to the point that like the last few cods have been in where we're running around with like monkey suits and like anime waifu things and we have Nicki minaj in the game like why and they didn't even do her hitbox right if you know you know i just don't like the fact that people are already anticipating it because it's something that's inevitably going to exist and the reason it inevitably is going to exist is because of how many people just accepted it when it first became a thing and another thing that they've inevitably accepted this whole time and once again it's just going to be a thing in the next cod are all of these bundles that have pay to win elements in them we first saw this in mw20 2019 part 2. We complained about it, we said it's bad, it's wrong, people said stop complaining, it's just a game, you're broke, all this other garbage, and then it made its way into MW 2019 part 3, 
a little bit stronger and a lot of people had the same response stop complaining you're broke like a bunch of idiots and now it's inevitably going to be in black ops 6 and i can pretty much guarantee that and it's probably going to be a little bit stronger than it was in the last two titles speaking of something that's been in the last two titles that's garbage and absolutely filthy is black cell now, I, I slightly talked about this in my last Black Ops 6 video, but Black Cell is coming back in Black Ops 6. Why? Because they need other ways to monetize for whatever ungodly reason, as if there wasn't a bunch of other ways they were doing it. Like, this game's still like 70 or $80. There's still vault editions, there's still bundles and microtransactions. Why do they need to keep monetizing with Black Cell? I don't know. Actually, wait, I do know. It's because a bunch of virgins keep on purchasing it. Does it look cool? Sometimes, maybe, but at the end of the day, is it actually influencing your experience? I hope it's not. I mean, genuinely, I really hope it's not. I mean, it, it that could definitely change in the future with all these pay-to-win elements just becoming normalized. But you guys know what my take is on Black Cell and COD. It just incentivizes the developers to let go of prioritizing the multiplayer experience and prioritize more on the cosmetics, specifically the ones behind a paywall. And while it's successful for Call of Duty as a franchise and Activision as a publishing company, the only unsuccessful part about this is how unsuccessful the education system has been on these people that purchase it. Because nobody in the right mind should be gassed up about Black Cell, especially not returning for the third time in a Black Ops title developed by Treyarch because Treyarch notoriously has been the only development team that is actually more in tune with their design work. Guys, can you imagine how badly they're going to incentivize people to purchasing bundles, to purchasing microtransactions, and especially Black Cell, now coming from an art team that actually knows what they're doing. I mean, aside from the actual multiplayer designers for Black Ops games, the art team for Treyarch is probably the second most competent group out of any existing group within any existing development team that works on Call of Duty. Think about that. And now Activision has the power to put all of their hard work and all of their beautiful designs behind a disgusting paywall like Black Cell. That is just utterly disgusting. And you know it's coming. It's not like I'm speculating right now. It's not like I'm assuming. You know good and well that that is the case. You know good and well that one art designer over at Treyarch has a higher IQ than all of the Infinity War development studio combined. And now you're going to put this man's work behind a paywall. Disgusting thievery, if that's even a word, by Activision. And yes, if you are buying Black Cell, you are participating in allowing yourself to be manipulated, exploited, and used. Don't allow that, guys. Do not allow the normalization of prostitution to exist in Call of Duty. When SBMM comes knocking on everybody's door and they just so happen to avoid the person who bought Black Cell, they just so happen to avoid the person that bought this anime bundle. And then those people inevitably start spending more in the shop. I don't want everybody else who's being negatively affected by SBMM to be looking around all confused. We know what's going on, guys. And I know in my previous Black Ops 6 video, I had a lot of actual pretty decent things to say about the game, even though I had to talk about some negative things, and even in this video I'm talking about a lot of horrible things. Once again, that doesn't mean this is going to be a god-awful game. I just think there's still work to do. I still think that there's improvements to make and some things that should have just been scrapped from the start, specifically in the fundamentals and, you know, the philosophy behind the game's development anyways, and especially given the fact that these people are calling it the best black ops game ever it's just setting this game up for a disaster no matter how much time they spend working on it and that's truly the worst part about it but that's gonna do it for me today guys i'm curious to know what you guys think about all this do you guys genuinely think this is about to be the best black ops game of all time in cod let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos and uh yeah guys it's been the boy fully have yourselves a good one i'm out of here toodles